Hi again, it's Tori. Today we're going to do the chain stitch. Now there's two different ways to work a chain stitch. So I'm just gonna make two little lines here and then I'll just make them into flowers later maybe. So we'll do one like this and one like this. I picked a green, like a dark green thread from my scrap bin. And let me just zoom her in and then we can have a go. So the first one is we're going to make a almost like a lazy daisy like we did before. I really come on guys. You can do it. Okay. So we've got our loop. Yeah. You want to make each of these stitches the same length. So however long you do the first one, you need to do all of them that length. So have to think about that. I'm gonna make mine quite small so I can show the technique more than one time. Yeah? So you're gonna go up through your loop. And of course I picked four strands that are not very well stranded together. So I've obviously at some point taken two out and there's four left. So we made our first um, detached chain stitch, but we didn't put that extra little guy there. Yeah. And that's because we're not going to actually do this little stitch on the end. We're going to go right back in the middle and pretend we're doing a detached chain stitch again. And this is where you have to keep your stitches the same. So you're going to go up through again make your loop again, and you're putting your needle down almost right where you came up. And again, good of the sun to come out and keep us company. Make your loop again. So this is how it goes for the whole stitch. And you're actually making little chains. You want to try and keep these the same length. So each one is about the same. I know I've already said it, but sometimes you just got to say it again. So I'm just following the line and I'm just going to make this one a little bit taller so I can keep each of these the same length. And then how to end it is just how you end one of these. You're just going to put a tiny little stitch on the other side. like that. So there's how you end it. Now the other way is the reverse chain stitch. And I can never remember if this is the chain stitch or the reverse chain stitch or if it's the other way around. Um, but let me show you the other way as well. So the other way is we're going to start almost, almost the same. You're going to have a little knot there. So you're going to start almost in the exact same way as this. So we're going to do a little um, detached chain stitch like this. But we're going to start at the top like here. So you're going to start with a full detached chain stitch. Okay, up through the middle and make your stitch. So you've got one up there at the very top, yeah? The next one is you're going to go down here a ways like that and you're going to slide your needle underneath. See? Not through it, just underneath this whole stitch. You're going to pull it down and back where you started yeah so here we go again down through down again i 
think this one is the reverse, the reverse twin stitch. Now, both ways are fine. There's no like right or wrong way that you should be doing this. If you prefer making the loop and going down, do it that way. If you prefer sliding your needle under, do it that way. Um, but chain stitch is great for all sorts of things. So you can do really nice um, like stems and stalks with it. You could do uh, lettering with it. A lot of people do lettering with it. Not that thick and thin fancy lettering, but just a regular um, bold outline lettering. I know some people use it as a border as well if they want to do a border of things, around things, I mean. I will say that though because you are putting your needle down and then through each one, you're sliding it through. If you have a lot of stitching already, I would probably do this way because you don't want to snag your needle on the stitching that's around it. So if you're planning your embroidery, I would plan to do one of these um, like first, if you want to do it this way. Whereas this way, it doesn't matter which way you do it because you're going to be putting it down on other stitches. So have a think about that. I hope you enjoyed the chain stitch and I will talk with you later. Bye.